What is time for your first of two Elimination Chamber matches here tonight? Who is going to face the WWE Women's Champion of the World at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania? And here comes a woman who has main evented WrestleMania in years past, the EST of WWE, former Women's Champion in her own right, Bianca Belair. The final woman to qualify for this matchup, she defeated Mia Yim this past Monday Night on Raw to secure her spot. The last time Bianca held gold here in the WWE, we're going back to last June at SummerSlam, where she lost the Women's Championship to the ballsy badass Shotzi. It was the final match in a trilogy of battles between those two women. Bianca's been fighting ever since to get another opportunity at the gold. Is tonight her night? to win the Elimination Chamber and punch her ticket to WrestleMania? Or will it be this woman, a former NXT Women's Champion? She defeated Alexa Bliss to gain entry into this matchup. The strongest, quite possibly, to step foot inside the Elimination Chamber match tonight. Bianca might argue that, but nonetheless, Raquel Gonzalez. A woman we have predicted is gonna have a breakout year here in the WWE. All the tools to be a champion. As we mentioned, she's a former NXT Women's Champion. She ruled the black and gold brand, but now a part of Monday Night Raw. Is this the opportunity for Raquel Gonzalez to capitalize on and move her way on to WrestleMania? Later tonight, we will find out who the champion will be at the end of February, whether that be the champion Oscar or tonight's challenger, Tegan Knox. But right now we find out who's gonna be the number one contender come Tampa Bay, Florida. And here comes the man. She returned to Monday Night Raw two weeks ago, defeating the boss, Sasha Banks, to gain her spot into the Elimination Chamber. A woman who knows all about the main event. A woman who knows all about being a champion, Becky Lynch. This is not her first rodeo inside of the chamber, and it quite possibly wouldn't be Becky Lynch's first rodeo at WrestleMania either. This is a woman who toppled Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey several years ago in the women's main event, the first women's main event of WrestleMania, to walk out a double champion here in the WWE. Can she do it again? We'll find out tonight. Becky enters her pod. Of course, four pods will be filled. Two women will start off this matchup. Elimination can only occur by pinfall or submission. And here comes another former champion. She's held gold on Raw, SmackDown, NXT, one half of the inaugural. WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, of course, representing Damage Control with her tag team partner, Dakota Kai. This is Bailey, the woman who defeated Saray to qualify for the Elimination Chamber match tonight. And we talked about how Bailey won half of the inaugural Women's Tag Team Champions. She won that gold alongside Sasha Banks back in 2019 in this very structure. So Bailey is no stranger to the Elimination Chamber and certainly no stranger to getting her hand raised inside the confines of this dangerous, disturbing, and unpredictable structure that lies before us here in Anaheim tonight. The four pods have been filled and we now know the two women that'll kick off the Elimination Chamber matchup. The Nightmare. Rhea Ripley is in the house. You want to talk about a former champion. You want to talk about dominating NXT in her day. Look no further than the nightmare. And of course, we know that Ripley will start this matchup with the ballsy badass Shotzi by process of elimination. Those two women have recent history dating back to December the 7th, Madison Square Garden, New York City at Raw Homecoming during the reign of Shotzi as the women's champion. One of the women she re successfully retained the gold over 
was the Nightmare Ripley herself. So a little bit of chance at retribution for Ripley here to kick things off inside the Elimination Chamber, but obviously a greater purpose to be served with the number one contendership for WrestleMania on the line. Ripley has participated in championship matches at WrestleMania. She walked into WrestleMania 36 as the NXT Women's Champion. She left WrestleMania 37 as the Monday Night Raw Women's Champion by defeating the current champion, Asuka. So no stranger to each other there, but here comes your final participant. Quite possibly the 2022 breakout star of the year. A woman who back on January the 1st unfortunately lost the women's championship in her final meeting after a six month plus rivalry with the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. The ballsy badass, Shotzi. You gotta believe that if there's any woman who's gonna take risk and that isn't gonna be afraid to use the Elimination Chamber to go to death defying heights. Look no further than the ballsy badass herself. And I'm sure Shotzi is chomping at the bit to get her hands on Asuka again, or quite possibly the woman who she also retained the title against, that being Tegan Knox, the woman who we'll see later tonight. But those are your six participants inside your first of two Elimination Chamber matches here tonight in Anaheim. Who is going to face the women's champion at WrestleMania? We find out right now. Bailey, Becky, Bianca, and Raquel inside the pods, and Ripley and Shotzi kicking things off here. Again, eliminations can only occur by pinfall or submission. And the last woman remaining in this matchup will punch her ticket to the grandest stage of them all. Again, Ripley and Shotzi, no strangers to each other. Just over a month ago, they were inside the squared circle competing for the women's championship in the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Ripley trying to catch Shotzi off guard with an early elimination, but not just yet. You know how tough Shotzi is. She absolutely proved herself, as we mentioned. Quite possibly the breakout star of the year, not just in the women's division, but in the entire WWE in 2022. And we're about to have our third entrant into the Elimination Chamber matchup. Who is going to join Ripley and Shotzi? Very exciting. Who's it going to be? And it's going to be Raquel Gonzalez. A woman who we are predicting will be a breakout star in 2023. Ripley wants to go high, but I think Raquel may be intimidating her a little bit there. Ripley with a missile drop kick on Shotzi on the outside of the chamber. And now Raquel going after Ripley. Remember Rhea Ripley and Raquel Gonzalez also have recent history with each other. It was one week before Raw Homecoming on Monday Night Raw that Ripley defeated Raquel Gonzalez to earn her opportunity. Now Shotzi, look at this, Saito suplex on the outside of the chamber. Thin padding on the outside of the ring. It ain't no easy fall inside of the Elimination Chamber. Ripley, Shotzi, and now Raquel Gonzalez, who will be the fourth entrant inside your first of two Elimination Chamber matches here tonight. Becky, Bailey, Bianca remains, and it's gonna be the man, Becky Lynch. The woman who made a return to the WWE after almost a year on the shelf due to an injury just two weeks ago on Raw, steps inside the chamber, and Ripley is the first to eat the steel chain lengths of the walls. Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley going at it. Shotzi and Raquel Gonzalez going at it. I'd like to assume, oh, wait a minute. Becky going to the top rope, looking to take things high risk, high reward, but it did not pay her dividends. Crashes and burns off the leg drop. I was about to mention, I'd like to assume that either Asuka and Tegan Knox are watching this matchup to scout who could be their opponent for WrestleMania right now, but I'm sure those two women are focused on each other. No time to focus on this matchup at the current moment. Your fifth entrant coming up in just a matter of seconds. Already down to two, Bianca and Bailey inside of the pods. It's only gonna get more chaotic as Bianca Belair enters the Elimination Chamber. Oh, another Saito on the outside by Shotzi. 
It's only going to get more dangerous, only going to get more chaotic inside of the squared circle as all these participants enter the fray here. It'll be very interesting to see who's going to be the first to fall, who's going to be the first casualty inside the elimination chamber. What a drop kick by Ripley. And Shotzi and Bianca going at it on the outside of the ring. Those two women with a lot of history. And what a springboard over the top by the Nightmare. A woman with the size and strength of Rhea Ripley throwing caution in the wind. Any means necessary to go to WrestleMania. Now Bianca into the cover on Raquel. She gets the shoulder up. And the final participant, Bailey, about to enter the fray. And here she comes. All six women have entered the Elimination Chamber matchup. One of these women will challenge for the WWE Women's Championship at the end of February, the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. And again, we will determine the champion for WrestleMania later tonight when the number one contender, Tegan Knox takes on the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Raquel and Bianca going at it. Raquel is dragged on the EST right now with clotheslines. Becky and Shotzi going at it. Ripley and Bailey fighting it out as well. Oh, and there's a slam by the Nightmare into the cover on Bailey, the freshest competitor in this matchup. She gets the shoulder up. We do our best to keep up with the action. Obviously, a lot of bodies in there right now. Look at Raquel Gonzalez coming off the top rope. A splash on the ballsy badass into the cover, but Shotzi gets the shoulder up. Certainly know how tough Shotzi is. We can't talk about it enough. The year she had in 2022. Winning the Women's Championship for the first time, winning it again back at Survivor Series. The 2023 may have started on a sour note, losing the title to Asuka at the Royal Rumble, but she's looking to bounce back tonight. Becky and Bianca going at it. Ripley and Bailey still brawling here. Bailey with a shot takes down the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Mew on the outside of the ring. Almost missed it there. We almost had our first elimination. Raquel trying to get rid of Shotzi. Meanwhile, over the top rope, down goes Rhea Ripley. Yep, Bianca Belair and Becky in there right now. Wait a minute, double pinfalls going on. But still no casualties. Everybody's going for the elimination. You want to get the bodies out of your way, trying to thin the field if you're going to last and go to the, go the distance in this matchup. Meanwhile, Becky going for the leg drop. But Bianca got out of the way. All six women fighting on the outskirts of the chamber right now, or outskirts of, outskirts of the ring, excuse me, getting closer to the chain walls of the elimination chamber. And things, quite frankly, are only gonna get more dangerous. There goes Raquel back inside of the ring, and Rhea Ripley may have just took Shotzi's lights out off that lariat, into the cover she goes, and Shotzi kicks out again. And Shotzi is... Showing her stuff in this matchup as Bianca gets crushed off a leg drop by Becky. And we have another pinfall scenario. Bianca gets the shoulder up. Now, meanwhile, we focus on Raquel Gonzalez, who's got Bailey. Look at this. All tied up here in the submission hold. This could be the first casualty of the matchup. Bailey. Oh, wait a minute. I thought that was it. I thought the referee was calling it off, but Bailey getting out of it. Pinfall or submission, as we mentioned, the only way to be eliminated in this matchup. Only really trying to get one up on Raquel here, but Raquel gets the shoulder up. Again, this is your first of two Elimination Chamber matches tonight in your main event. Six superstars of Friday Night SmackDown will compete for the opportunity to challenge either Dolph Ziggler or Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania. LA Knight. Robert Roode, Finn Bauer, Mustafa Ali, Drew McIntyre, and John Cena coming up in your main event inside this very chamber. Oh, and wait a minute, off the top rope, Bailey hit a belly to belly, but not able to capitalize. Meanwhile, Raquel Gonzalez is laid out. Somebody needs to take advantage, because there might be an elimination there. A belly to belly from the top, but nobody able to capitalize here. And Raquel, luckily, has her chances saved. Wait a minute, Ripley going into the cover. And no, she kicks out. Meanwhile, on the outside, Becky trying to eliminate, or excuse me, Bianca trying to eliminate Becky, but she kicks out as well. 
Haley's down. Shotzi's going to the top row. Wait a minute. Shotzi. Colfin drop on damage controls Bailey. Meanwhile, Gonzalez with that power slam on Ripley. Cover. Bailey is Bailey eliminated. eliminated. Referee's got to focus Raquel. She had Ripley for the three count, but the referee was distracted off Shotzi's pinfall to Bailey. Bailey has been eliminated. And Bailey's casualty really saved the Nightmare Rhea Ripley right there. We are down to five women just like that. Off the cup, Coffin drops, Shotzi gets rid of Bailey. The first casualty of the Elimination Chamber matchup. Well, Bianca could be going here, but not just yet. Again, Rhea Ripley was down for the three count there, but the referee's vantage point obviously was somewhere else. And now a cover. Will that be all? But Shotzi gets the shoulder up. Meanwhile, Bianca just gets chucked into the chamber on the outside. Bianca and Becky have really been rolling with each other a lot in this matchup. Shotzi's down. Meanwhile, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley is heading to the top rope. Elbow drop on the ballsy badass. Meanwhile, Bianca, or excuse me, Becky into the cover on Raquel on the outside, and not just yet. Trying to keep up with the action here. We head back inside the square circle while Rhea is stomping the lights out of Shotzi. So much chaos inside of the Elimination Chamber. Every woman is going to give it their all for the chance to be contesting for the Women's Championship at WrestleMania. And Shotzi almost eliminated there against the shoulder up. Shotzi has kicked out possibly more than anybody in this matchup. The heart and the grit of the ballsy badass to fight for the Women's Championship once again. Becky and Bianca still continuing their fight. They've been at each other's throats all matchup. Becky going for the cover. Elimination time here. Wait a minute, another cover, but Shotzi again gets the shoulder up. A lot of action for one referee to keep up with. While Becky's on the top rope, Rhea gets taken out by Raquel, and down goes Bianca by the hands of the man, Becky Lynch. Wait a minute, Shotzi, slice spread on Becky Lynch. And that may be all she wrote. The man hitting the showers, not just yet, as she gets the shoulder up. But how close was that? A great move by Shotzi to catch Becky off guard. But Becky Lynch survives another moment, now gets sent to the outside of the ring by Bianca Blair. The 12 gonna follow him out there. Well, Rhea and Shotzi on the other side of the Elimination Chamber. Who's going to join Bailey on the casualty list? Wait a minute, look at this. Becky Lynch goes behind on Rhea Ripley, trying to get, steal the elimination. Oh, and she was so close. Almost had our second casualty here with the power of Rhea Ripley to get the shoulder up. Wait a minute, Becky Lynch. It rolls through, going for the disorder on the nightmare. Becky with the submission locked in. Rhea nowhere to go. Rhea Ripley taps out. The nightmare is gone. Your second casualty in the match. Meanwhile, Shotzi into the cover of Raquel. She gets the shoulder up. We are down to four ladies in this contest. Raquel Gonzalez, Becky Lynch, Shotzi and Bianca Belair. Bailey and Rhea Ripley have fallen by the wayside. We are down to four inside the elimination chamber. It's one elimination for Shotzi, one elimination for Becky so far. The fight continues. Shotzi and Bianca going at it. We all know the history between them. Three incredible matches last spring and summer have culminated at last year's SummerSlam between those two ladies. Oh, Gonzalez has taken Becky Lynch to school inside of the ring, beaten down in the lower back of the man. Shotzi gets sent over the top rope and inside the square circle. Now oh, Raquel, look at this taking Becky Lynch for an amusement park ride. Maybe enough to knock her daylights out. And now Raquel's going to the top rope. Becky's not having none of it. Knocking Raquel off. Raquel tried hitting Becky with that axe hammer. Nowhere to be found. Becky Lynch rolling up Raquel Gonzalez. Trying to steal the elimination. And she does! Gonzalez has been eliminated. 
Becky Lynch coming from behind, rolling up Raquel Gonzalez off the misstep by Gonzalez, and she is hitting the showers. We are down to three inside the elimination chamber. Becky Lynch, Shotzi, Bianca Belair, one of these women are going to WrestleMania. That was a big time elimination by big time Bex. Coming up from behind, rolling up Raquel off her misstep from the top rope and stole the elimination there. Now Becky working over Bianca. Shotzi trying to get her wits about her. Two eliminations for the man, Becky Lynch. One for the ballsy badass Shotzi. There's three of what will inevitably, inevitably be five casualties in this matchup have been made. What a shot by Bianca. Nice clothesline on Shotzi. Follows it up with a moonsault. The history between these two women, they know how to put each other away. Wait a minute, Bianca Belair has got Shotzi up. KOD! And that may be all she wrote. The ballsy badass. Maybe leaving in Anaheim empty handed tonight. There she goes. An unfortunate loss for the ballsy badass Shotzi. Eliminated by an old rival in Bianca Belair. But we are down to two. The man Becky Lynch and the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair, who is going to WrestleMania. Becky, exploder suplex. A surprise Becky didn't hurry into the cover there. That could have been all off the suplex. Not done yet, Becky Lynch dropping the leg drop on Bianca Belair. Going for a dose, and she hits it. And that was a big elimination moments ago. The most recent former women's champion, the ballsy badass Shotzi, got an elimination in this matchup, gave it a raw. But her old rival in the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair, knocking her daylights out with that KOD, and that's him sent her to the back. And nonetheless, we are down to two. Bianca and Becky have been at each other's throats this whole matchup. Now inevitably it leads to these two women being the final two women left standing inside the elimination chamber. Bianca on the top row, this is not where she wants to be right now. At least on a defensive end as Be Becky Lynch, a superplex as Bianca goes flat, flat in the middle of the ring. And Becky's got her eyes sharp on the EST. Goes for a four on there. Bianca says none of it. There's a counter by Becky. Now look at this. Tying up Bianca Belair from behind. And Bianca eats the canvas for dinner. Becky again lying in wait. But there's a counter by Bianca. Back and forth the momentum shifts with such a big opportunity on the line. Neither one of these women looking to give an inch. Neither one of these women want to see the opportunity slip through their fingers here tonight in the Honda Center. Everybody wants to be a part of the show of shows. Everybody wants to be the champion. Everybody wants to leave the division on top. And Becky Lynch into the cover off the Exploder. The man is going to WrestleMania. What an elimination chamber matchup. And the man, Becky Lynch, racks up three eliminations and is the final woman left standing inside the middle of the ring and will meet the champion at the grandest stage of them all. What a win. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. She returned a few weeks ago on Monday Night Raw defeated Sasha Banks, walks into the Elimination Chamber tonight, gets not one, not two, but three eliminations. And now the man, big time Bex, Becky Lynch, will challenge either Asuka or Tegan Knox for the WWE Women's Championship at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Hey, so I'm on a chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.